Welcome to Nerds at Lunch. Pat is dying. We don't know what <laughs> can cure him, if anything. Uh, I'll be You'll find a cure? <laughs> uh, we're just going to do a short one this week, folks. Um, it's the week before Thanksgiving. Nothing exciting is going to happen. As I say this, I'm sure like Star Wars leaked or something. <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, Pat, you're not gonna make me lose the show. I'll be alright, man. Okay, okay. Uh, so we're just um we're gonna do a short show today. Uh this is part of a bigger show I wanted to do, but uh it turns out Chibi Robo is really boring as I researched all of his games. And um he kinda deserves uh what he got. So um my grand plan to fix that series ain't happening. So, anyway, uh, we're going to do... Uh, Nintendo is branching out into other media. They said movies, but I think we all know what we really want. Nintendo TV shows. So, uh, we're going to do a quick uh, round robin. Uh, each of us is going to think up one or two shows. And uh, we'll go from there. So, I'll start. Um, I thought about this a while. Um... Of the obvious ones aside, I would really like an F Zero show, and not like not like the anime, but just uh, an F Zero show that focused on a different racer every week, and just how insane the actual matches have to be. No, like non no ongoing plots or anything. It would sort of be like Adventure Time esque, like eleven minute long, just uh, really funny, really insane, fast paced episodes. Yeah, and that way you could boil them down to their they're already pretty much stereotypes in F Zero, <laughs> but uh, you could condense them even more. I mean, one of them is James McLeod, and he has Star Fox ears for hair. <laughs> there, there has to be a story there, and I think that would be f- hilarious. Hmm. Um, I don't know who I want to animate it. Because, I mean, there's a lot of options. It would obviously be a Japanese studio. I almost want to say Trigger. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm afraid what they'll do, they'll, uh, they'll go low budget with it and do it like Inferno Cop or uh, Ninja Slayer. Uh, I mean, I think if it's a Nintendo title, that they'd probably put a little money into it. But I don't think even know how, like, how popular F-Zero really is. You know what? It's been it's been dead for a while, but I think a funny like a funny short anime, or even American animated cartoon would be enough to bring it back. I mean, Teen Titans Go. No kids today know who the Teen Titans are, <laughs> but it's wildly popular with children. Well, yeah, that show does make it that way. No one knows who Raven, Starfire, Cyborg are. <laughs> So I think uh, I think F Zero could uh, stand to get a kick in the pants brand wise. Everyone knows who Captain Falcon is, mm-hmm. and that's all you have to do is put him at the front of the show, have him act exactly like he does in Smash Brothers, and you're set. <laughs> and I mean, I've already written the first episode where he goes and visits his parents. <laughs> Everyone's heard me do the Falcon mom, Falcon dad thing. <laughs> Falcon son! <laughs> <laughs> Show me a mess! <laughs> we'll do that one day, I swear. <laughs> I need to get three Captain Falcon amiibos. <laughs> An old lady wig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. That's... So, uh, yeah, that's it for my first one. Uh, Pat, you want to go next? Yeah. Uh, I would really love to see a uh, Star Fox anime. Mm. Quite obviously. Uh, I think it would be really good. Uh, they don't necessarily have to... What what's, what's the word I'm looking for here? They don't have to ever use crystal and we can forget about it? Of course not. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> it's like she wouldn't exist in that whole universe. But you get the idea. Yes. I wasn't even thinking that. But anyway, I think it would be more along the lines like... Uh, 
probably probably obviously more along the lines like Gundams because of all the yeah. machinery that would be used in it. Uh, you know, lighthearted ribbing of Slippy, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> I'm sure it would uh, work out pretty good, actually. It, it does actually sync fairly well with Gundam, now that I think about it. Yeah. Uh, me and Maddo based it on a TV show from his childhood, and it's no secret that he's always wanted a Star Fox anime. Yeah, I would, little, I would really like to see one. So, uh... And you're right, now with the R-Wings to turn into walkers, and yeah. all the spaceships and mechs and stuff, there are actual Gundams in Star Fox 64. Yes, yes there are. The first freaking boss. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That's uh, that's just a Mac. There's uh, if you get the sector, the spaceship. Oh yeah, yeah. Sector six. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, he launches himself off. The pink one and the purple yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you don't beat them fast enough, the big guy comes. Comes over. Yeah. Yeah. That was ridiculous. Now what it. Just retell the uh, original story again, or do you think it would just be a con- like a continuation? Well, the like... first part, well, they would probably divide this into several parts. The first part would retell the story. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you know how animes work. They'll just uh, you know show some stuff, and then in between they'll show origin stuff. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. Fox about his about his father and Peppy and all of them. Flashback shows. They'll do that, like, in the middle. that's what anime does. It really does. <laughs> I mean, it, for, it, it would work perfectly for Star Fox. Cause, it uh, Even if you focus on just the primary missions, there's a lot of dead time. Yes. Where they're just probably on a ship or repairing and stuff. It could uh-huh. be, like... They could uh, sort of do a Cowboy Bebop approach where the fights are frequent, but not the main draw. Uh-huh. That, that actually would be pretty good. <laughs> if Falco does something. I think they line up They line up pretty well to the Bebop crew, actually. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Slippy is Ed. Oh, God. Rob64 is Ayn. Peppy is uh, Jet. And then uh, Fox isn't Spike, but he, he's sort of nerdy Spike. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Fox is like ten year old Spike who's uh this hall monitor at his school. <laughs> <coughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay. okay, well that's it for my first complaint. Okay. Uh, Steve, how about you? <laughs> well, I mean it's probably the most obvious choice it would be Zelda. I just, I wouldn't even know. I mean, I would like to see the games into the series, but, I mean, I feel like if they were going to do it, they might want to be a little careful since I think it's obvious that a lot of fans are, like, really picky about, like, they don't speak and all that. So, I mean, they if they were going to actually do it, that they would probably maybe do an original story. Yeah. So it's kind of still separated from the games. I don't know. Well, the beauty of Zelda is it's created specifically so that None of the stories have to connect, except very tenuously. Uh-huh. So I think it could be handled well. Um, as for the not speaking, Link doesn't have to speak. I honestly, I think it would be funnier if everyone else spoke. Because, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> it would be. He just mimes things or starts to speak and is interrupted. <laughs> they say something and then they look at him and they're like you're right link yeah i can think of <laughs> i can think of hundreds of shows where they have a protagonist who doesn't talk for an entire episode samurai jack comes to mind yeah he he has a voice actor but he there are episodes where he doesn't say a thing yep and i mean link has a voice he makes noises and stuff so i mean i think they could get away with it if they had clever writers I mean, I'm on the side where I really wouldn't care if they did have him speak, but I don't know. I just, he never struck me as the type of guy who would give big epic speeches anyway, so, like, if he said yeah or no, that would be the extent of what I would be fine with. Uh, I'm not, it's not that I'm picky, it's just, Link, people say Link doesn't have a character, but if you watch the 3D games, he does. Mm-hmm. He's just this doofus. <laughs> 
Episode six. Link visits the pot store. <laughs> ching ching. I'm sure if they if they were gonna do it though, they probably wouldn't you know, make up any new original characters or anything. They'd probably just do a really simple like Link and Ganon type of story. Mm-hmm. That would be fine, and then have the Triforce involved. That's kind of the whole story. So yeah. Maybe they could have the Triforce of Wisdom. Ganon could have power. And every week they would try to get power from Ganon. But they'd somehow miss their chance. <laughs> He's a slippery one, that kid. Yeah, and he would keep coming up with schemes. Like having a mummy seduce Link. <laughs> and turn him into a frogman. Or... <laughs> I'm not going to get any more specific to that because that ruins the joke. I'm talking about the um, old uh, Zelda cartoon. Yeah, that was that was something else. That's the name of this episode, a Gabito, uh, because back then Gabitos were mummies. Yeah. Uh, it was transformed into a hot chick, and Link made out with her, <laughs> and then he became a uh, what are they called? Uh, Zola. Not Zola. Is it Zola? The bad ones? The bad version of the fish people. I think it's Zolas or something like that. I think that they were Zoras, but they just um, really changed their design for later games. Apparently there's two breeds, and the ones that you fight are river Zoras, but... They've never been really clear on that. It's like that Goomba thing from Super Mario World that is obviously not a Goomba. (laughs) <laughs> so they call them Galoombas now? <laughs> but, but you know. You know they forgot what a Goomba was. <laughs> but, <laughs> that, that, that's the subject. <laughs> I think your idea could work, Steve. Um, I think uh, the problem is it would have to be at least 26 episodes. Well, yeah, I mean, the series series Zelda, they'd need to have like a big story to it. They can't just have it just like a really short thing, I would think. I could, I can see in my head, I could pace out like an Ocarina of Time type story uh, into uh, 26. But that's pushing it. Yeah, you're right. It would probably have to be 30 to 40. But still, I think it would be pretty fun. And then, uh, Steve, since you're pressed for time, uh, do you want to give your second one right now? Yeah, I, I think it's another obvious one that Fire Emblem would be pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Especially for me, since I suck at the whole, like, strategy RPGs, so it would be more fun to watch it than, <laughs> than to sit there and die. Well, now they have the super easy mode, so you can go in and just enjoy the sto- story if you want. I actually, yeah, I haven't played any of the newer ones to see what they've changed. Awakening has it so that your characters can revive after every battle. So if you lose somebody, you'll, they'll come right back. And uh, the newest one has a mode where you have a set number of turns, but your allies revive after every fight. So they, they're immortal, essentially. I just still remember this one game. It was one of the Growlander games. I forget which one. And it was the very beginning of the game, and you're supposed to like stop the, the, these soldiers from attacking the townspeople. And I could never move enough squares up to stop them. I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. <laughs> There's a, yeah, there's a thick learning curve to these type of games. I uh, I like them, but I'm not good at them. Advanced Wars pushed me to my limits. I've never tried Fire Emblem. <laughs> yeah, I got the one DS release in the first one, and I couldn't get past it. It was uh, so frustrating. Um, the only problem, it couldn't be an anime, because there's just like no fantasy anime anymore. And that's Fire Emblem is pretty firmly entrenched in there. So, um, do you think it could work as a live action? Uh, I mean, like I, honestly, I, I this is Nintendo's Game of Thrones. I don't know why any idiot would pick Zelda if you want that type of story. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I mean, I can't see it working as Japan doing it. It would have to be <laughs> something American made. I can only see it as Japan doing it because they'd have to use the stupid blue wigs. <laughs> and I can't see anyone being effeminate enough to be Martha in America. <laughs> like, I mean, I love watching like all the Kamen Rider and stuff, but it's like 
that you know that their special effects are definitely not oh, yeah. that oh, impressive. Yeah. I saw the Attack on Titan live action. I mean, ideally, they would. Uh, it would be an American studio, and they would uh, cast appropriately because uh, there's definitely different uh, ethnicities in Fire Emblem. Uh, this new game sort of proves that. But yeah, that, that would work pretty well. I, I would enjoy that. Uh, then I will go again. Um, so uh, the most obvious of obvious is Mario. But what I would like to do instead is Luigi. Of course. <laughs> but instead of like Luigi interacting with the Mushroom Kingdom people, it's just a show where Luigi is given a job and he explains how to do it. But it's always in the most insane, dangerous locations. <laughs> so, like, the first episode would be Luigi. You get a letter from Princess Peach. Dear Luigi, would you please go fix the plumbing in this house? And uh, it would be the house on top of a volcano. Mm -hmm. And it would be lined with, <laughs> like, spikes. <laughs> it would be called uh, Super Luigi Adventures. <laughs> because... It would just be hilarious. Um, and then he'd get all the way up to the house, and uh, he'd have forgotten his wrench or something. <laughs> just, just for the heck of it. I, I think it would be... Uh, obviously, not a very long series with that premise. I, I think they could probably stretch some stuff out from there, but just the idea of poor Luigi having to do these things. <laughs> Sort of like a Roadrunner, uh, Wile E. Coyote type deal. It would also reference how hard his uh, specific uh, game was. The Super Luigi U. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and uh, Pat, you want to do yours? Last one would be uh, Pit. Uh, what was that? K. Icarus? Yes. Yeah. So, I think they can do one with that one. Uh, Did you say Dudicus? I don't know what it would be called that, but... No, no you never saw Captain uh, N? No. Pissing. Pitt was in there, but he was called Kid Icarus. Because, you know, back then, the title of your game was the name of the character. Yeah, I guess. And uh, he would end uh, specific nouns with Eus. So he would go like Dudicus, or uh, <laughs> that was Radicus. Oh, good lord. Yeah. Well, they won't be doing that this time, obviously. <laughs> so, Mega Man said Mega before everything. Yeah, that was something else too. <laughs> <laughs> this obviously would take place in uh, the overworld, so, mm -hmm. so you know, Palatine would send him down to the underworld, to do different things. Yeah, it's pretty much follows the story of the, the games, I guess. But, ugh. Why the hell? Oh. <laughs> I was just confused a second. Uh, yeah, I, I can't remember what I was talking about. I knew about the overworld, underworld. Yeah. yeah I was going to ask, now, would it be edited for American audiences? Because I'm pretty sure Medusa would not make it to uh, television as it, she is. <laughs> it would obviously have to be. So, uh, they would do... I don't know. I'm not really clear on this one, but I would really like to watch one. So, I'm not really good on developing stories. So. I mean, they clearly have plans for a Kid Icarus anime. Uh -huh. They have designs. They have stuff like uh, I would like to see dark a Dark Pit series. Uh huh. Where because he's a sniper, and how he tackles something that uh, Palutena would send him to do. Uh, or who is his uh, deity? Uh, Not Palutena, right? No. Uh, oh, the hell. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I play like this. I play that. But I would just like to see him ta tasked with like heavenly duties, and he's a sniper and not a direct attacker. It would be interesting <laughs> to follow him around. And he, he could get a friend named Chad, maybe uh, a group of zany kids. To follow him around on adventures, because he's voiced by Ichigo. Get it? 
No. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm bombing today. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think Steve would know. <laughs> That's an American voice actor, but I expected you to know Pat. <laughs> I knew about Johnny Young's Marshall. But that has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> oh. And uh, we're, we're running out of time. You guys want to do one more round real fast? I can't think of anything else. Okay. Well, I'll throw in one more, and then if you want to, Steve. So, um, the only other one I can really think, um, Splatoon. Duh. <laughs> like, I want more of that world. Um, I want <laughs> more. And I don't want it to be, like, a generic England. I, I want it to be Callie Marie. And they're ridiculous <laughs> youth adventures because they were clearly superheroes. <laughs> In their battle against the Ark. <laughs> mm-hmm. I wouldn't mind some explanation on why there's so many different types of uh, octopus person. Because <laughs> some of them don't make sense. <laughs> some of them are just tentacles. Yeah. That, that doesn't work. <laughs> The implication is that the Inklings, as we know them, are a military experiment, which is swapped up, <laughs> and that the uh, Octopus Army has just now gotten that technology. But, I mean, I don't even know if I want dialogue. I, I think it would be fun to just to be set to the music, and just have Callie and Marie like, doing missions or something. I'm really pitching experimental shows here. <laughs> so I guess what I really want are Splatoon music videos. <laughs> 30 minute long music videos. <laughs> no commercial interruptions. Uh, okay. And then, uh, you got any more, Steve? I mean, the only other one would be, uh, I would think Metroid would be kind of fun to see, but I mean, it just, I mean, it, it depends on, you know, popularity-wise. I'm sure if it was done over in Japan, that they would probably be hesitant since they know it's not that popular over there, but... They've tried. Lord knows they've tried, but... Ugh. I think the problem is it has to be done in America. And there are people at Nintendo that really don't get that. <laughs> um, if they were smart, they would get, like, Ridley Scott to help adapt it. <laughs> <laughs> Because, I mean, realistically, Metroid should be a little scary, right? Yeah. And, um, I don't know, Prime had that isolation atmosphere. Super Metroid was creepy. What the hell is Phantom? Is what I want to know. I don't know. I heard John Wu pitch an adaption. I can't imagine it was very good. I just I think if they're going to start with something, it's probably going to be something that's more kid friendly. Because I feel like Metroid would definitely be more like teenager kind of age range to adults that they'd be aiming at. Honestly, I know it's going to ruin. Yeah, I, I think I could see. Um, what kind of, I was going to say Trigger again, but not Trigger. Um, the head tilt people, Shaft, right? Yeah. I think their weird backgrounds and lack of. Uh, Secondary characters that actually work really well for Metroid. <laughs> and she, Samus can't do a head tilt because her suit doesn't have a neck. <laughs> so she'd have to tilt her body. <laughs> <six degrees>. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing something with Animal Crossing too, but I can't imagine that would be too exciting. <laughs> that would definitely be the most boring show in the world, and it would be so popular in Japan. I mean, they had the, the the anime movie. I I wanted to watch it forever, but I just couldn't do it because I just knew it would be too boring. <laughs> I, I feel like I want to watch the uh, Miyamoto, Miyamoto uh, Pikmin movies because I'm interested to see how he directs uh, film. But uh, I sort of want them on like a DVD, <laughs> not on my 3DS. <laughs> that's the only problem with that. Um, that's another thing real fast before we close out. I would not mind... Miyamoto's toning down on games. He's going into a, an overseer role. Um, I think if their first movie was directed by him, that would be interesting. Co-directed, obviously. They're going to attach a big name to this, but... 
I mean, uh, Miyazaki's pretty much winding down. Is it Miyazaki? Did I say the right name? Hao Miyazaki. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. I, I was. I don't know why I thought I said it wrong. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Miyazaki would be. Uh, I, I mean, he clearly doesn't like story, which is a problem for a director. <laughs> I think. I think he could do. Uh, I would, I would love to see him do like a Mario movie or a Pikmin movie or something. A Pikmin movie would just involve Olimar directing Pikmin and pick things up. I mean, there's not much else to do. Ah, uh, you didn't play three then, because there's some crazy story in there. Louie can control bunks. Really? Yes. Yeah. Pikmin four is gonna be nuts. I guess so. Like, he just rides around on them, and uh, apparently he knows how to control them now, so. He was a straight. I have a feeling they're going to open up a, a second type of gameplay with him. Uh-huh. But I'm not sure what yet. But uh, if they ever announce a release date for Pikmin 4, we'll do a speculation video. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. Sorry for the short show, everybody. Uh, Mark needed money and had to go to work for... <laughs> I'm sure he would have pitched Sonic and Mario at the Olympics or something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Zero Suit Samus Aerobics. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. Mark isn't a sex criminal. <laughs> we know of. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you can find us at uh, Twitter, at Nerds at Lunch. I promise to start using this, guys. I'm 33. I don't know how to use Twitter. I never will. <laughs> but I've been I, having that problem myself. <laughs> it's for the children, I guess. Maybe I'll have my niece start using it. <laughs> She's four. She has time. Um, let's see. Um, we don't have a Tumblr anymore. I don't like Tumblr's community. Uh, I apologize if you use Tumblr a lot. It's not for us. Uh, you can find us on uh, facebook.com slash robothousepodcasts. And you can follow Steve on Otaku Henshin, facebook.com slash Otaku Henshin online, or the store itself, otakuhenshin.com. He just got in the N, Nendroid, Nenodroid, I think it's called, and it comes with... Uh, Reshiram. Yes, Reshiram. The White Dragon. Could have been the Black Dragon, I'm just saying. <laughs> Ain't getting that one anytime soon. <laughs> But uh, it is cute and hilarious. Um, so i uh, give it a look. I, I promise at some point we'll figure out <laughs> how to do key point codes, guys. And then you can watch our show and then buy stuff from Steve. It's perfect. I mean, not for you guys, but for us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that'll be our show this week. Um, our schedule's going to be a bit wonky for uh, the rest of the month. We're off next week. Um uh, we're going to maybe have two or three shows in December. I don't know. Definitely not Christmas. But you can expect a Star Wars episode. And uh, maybe one or two more. Maybe one or two small episodes. Depending on what happens that month. Uh, when we get back in January, though, contests are happening. So spread the word. You'll be able to get uh, once a month a game or an amiibo of my choosing. Just for Nobody liking. Your amiibos. <laughs> you know what? Just for that. <laughs> <laughs> He's the stupid alpacas. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> if you like and subscribe, and the, this is retroactive, anyone who likes and subscribes to our uh, channel or the Facebook page will be entered into the contest, and uh, I'll just draw a random person every month. Uh, the more people that know about it, the better. Because uh, that just means I can add more prizes to the pool. And um, we'll see you guys next week. Or not next week, but uh, sometime next month. I'll let you know on the Facebook page. Bye. <laughs>